Millie Fierce by Jane Manning. Millie was too short to be tall, too quiet to be loud, and too plain to be fancy. When she spoke at show and tell, hardly anyone listened. When she walked into a room, hardly anyone looked up. And when there was cake to be dished out, Millie never got anything better than a small, simple piece. One day, Millie was drawing sidewalk pictures. She had just finished a flower. It was a little bit crooked, but it was the best flower she had ever drawn. All at once, three girls from school marched past her as if she wasn't there. They walked all over her flower, all over it, and over it until it was nothing more than a big, multicolored smudge. Millie sat there long after the girls had passed. She looked at the smudge. That's me, she said. Millie was tired of feeling like a smudge. She didn't like it, not one bit. A new feeling rumbled inside her. Millie stood. I'm not a smudge, she said, so loudly it surprised her. That's when Millie became fierce. Millie frizzed out her hair and made the crazy eye. She looked in the mirror and growled, Brr. Look at me and my ferocity, she yelled. Grandpa Edwin noticed. She stomped around in Grandpa's noisy boots, even though it made her toes tingle, and she filed each of her nails to a tiny point. They are short, but they're sharp, she said. She scratched them slowly down the chalkboard. The class noticed. For Millie Fierce, no line was too long to barge in front of. No food was too tasty to flick across the table. Now people looked Millie Fierce right in the eye. They were mad and said, Shh! with angry faces. But they noticed her. She left muddy handprints on the kitchen wall and painted Buddy's face bright blue. Watch out, I bite, she howled like a mad thing. The moon noticed. Little by little, people would sit further and further away from her. Millie Fierce noticed that they didn't look at her as much. So she pulled all the buds off of Mrs. Clee's favorite flower and laughed when Mrs. Clee's face turned beet red. She only felt the littlest bit bad about it. At school, during Jackie Raymond's birthday party, Millie Fierce danced on her chair like a monkey, but no one watched her, not even to scowl. So Millie Fierce hid the tail of the donkey. She dumped jelly beans on the floor. Just ignore her, said one of the girls in her class. Everyone did. So Millie Fierce grabbed the biggest, best piece of cake, the one with two roses on it. She knew it was a birthday boy's piece. She took it anyway. Just before she took the first bite, she looked around to see if anyone was watching her. Everyone was, but no one made a sound. Except Jackie Raymond, who was crying. Millie Fierce hung her wild head. For the first time in her life, she wished she was invisible. That day, Millie walked the long way home. She went up to her room and combed out her hair and filed down her nails. She drew a card for Jackie Raymond with a flower on the inside. I'm sorry and happy birthday, she wrote on the inside and signed it, Millie. She spit shine Grandpa's boots and fed Buddy his supper. Everyone noticed. Millie decided she liked being good better than being fierce. Mostly.